My war against website trackers has pretty much been won, with an add-on for Firefox called Policeman. Well, I'm not so sure about the name, but the way it works is excellent. So it differs to Adblock Plus and the likes of Ghostry, which, by the way, don't use Ghostry because that's a worse tracker than the trackers you're trying to prevent. Hmm, makes sense of that one, eh? But anyway, they sell your information on. But with Ghostry and Adblock Plus, they work on blacklists. Policeman works on a whitelist form. Let me go into the explanation of that, because it'll make more sense if I show you the pictures. So say you're on the BBC website. Well, you're going to get images from bbcimg.co.uk, and you might get some advertising from DoubleClick, which is Google, and it's going to load up a couple of trackers. Well, these two are the truthful parts, and, well, the BBC website might be infected, so you're going to get a download of malware while you're there. Hey, all theoretical. So if you use Adblock, they recognise that DoubleClick.net is an advertising website and prevent those sites from being loaded up. Excellent. Doesn't do anything about the trackers and the malware. Because that's a blacklisting, it'll only stop what it knows about. Policeman, on the other hand, only allows things from the bbc.co.uk website to be loaded up whilst you're on it. That eliminates everything else. Now you may notice that eliminates images from loading up. Hmm. So you then have to go and tell the add-on to allow content from bbcimg.co.uk whilst you're on the BBC website. I'll show you this in action. But that's the way it works. So by whitelisting, you block advertising and tracking sites, as well as malware, from opening because they're inherently on other websites than the one you're looking at. So you get the add-on in the top right-hand side here. And when I click on it, it shows what websites have been rejected. They're the ones in red. And what ones have been allowed? They're in green. It shows me the rules that I've added. So I have allowed content from BBC IMG to show. Let's show you a website that I haven't allowed it on yet. So that's Stack Overflow. So because the images on Stack Overflow come from a different website than stackoverflow.com, nothing appears. Now you can see how much has stopped working because it's showing red here on the icon. So it's a balance of red and green. They're trying to open up content from these other websites here. So Google APIS I have allowed and Imgur I have allowed because that's just images and those two sites I'm trusting. So what is missing? Well, those three there, Google Analytics, QuantServe, and Scorecard Research are all advertising websites. That is something I've learned. So it's either going to be cdn.sstatic.net or the other one there. So I can either add a temporary rule, which will clear as soon as I close Firefox, or add a permanent rule. And you can click on here and change the domain, so it's all Quite simple, point and click. So add the rule, and then reload the page. That reload button doesn't always work, but uh, you can reload the page and, ah, look, it's working. So clearly that was the website I should have enabled. But look, it's still working fine. I can open up the topics and, yeah, that works fine. If I go on my own website, everything on my own website is loaded up from that domain, from quidsup.net. So policeman doesn't show anything wrong here, so I don't have to do anything with this add-on at all to go on my own website. And I find quite a few websites are like that. Now, I haven't eliminated Adblock Edge entirely from my computer. I still run it, but uh, it does a lot less nowadays. I mean, if we went on the independent.co.uk, which my previous video I mentioned was quite a horrific one for trackers, we find that one's actually managed to slip through. Scorecardresearch.com still manages to slip round policemen. That is the worst one. That is about one of the only trackers I've found that does slip through. Otherwise, policemen's pretty damn good at stopping all of them. You can see here how many websites that has actually blocked. But if I wanted to enable some of these things, well, what I like doing there is actually get rid of the www. It's not needed necessarily, so just click that away and then you know, enable things that way. Point and click, it's quite simple. 
and what has failed on it? Uh, yes, there's still adverts being loaded up on here. Policeman hasn't eliminated those. They're actually on the website itself. They're not coming from a separate domain. There's no way the add-on can stop that. However, add block edge can. So we we'll close that, reopen the page, and we find the adverts are gone. And are now listed down there as being blocked. Sweet. Look at the preferences on policemen. Ah oh, yes, I forgot to mention about the behavior of it. You can just middle click and disable it. And you can disable it for one tab. So suspend on one tab. The rule sets, these come like this by default. You don't have to do anything here. And yeah, I pretty much leave them as is. The custom rules, so these are the rules that I've added for my computer. Now I've not found any way you can easily copy and paste rules here, an easy way of adding them in. You pretty much have to go and manually add them as you use the internet. It's a bit of a long-winded one to create. In the long run, the policeman is certainly a good add-on. However, it's a lot of work to get it set up initially. We're having to go around to all the different websites and then manually add any whitelisting that is necessary. So you do have to balance that off compared to the likes of NoScript and Adblock. Those might be easier initially, but you're not going to get everything. You're not going to eliminate all the trackers. You might not necessarily catch all the malware sites. So, yeah, there's a lot of balancing up to do there. But certainly, if you really don't want to do the work, then, yeah, those other add-ons, Adblock Plus, NoScript, are going to be better. But it would be good to, if you enabled the advertising on YouTube every now and again, because my revenues are certainly lacking compared to last year. It doesn't help I've got a bit of work to do on the house still, but I really just am lacking the incentive knowing that my videos aren't going to re generate much revenue. Anyway, that's the last time I really want to mention about advertising on YouTube. Um, I don't like trying to hold out the begging pot. It's not something I like doing, but help us out now, please. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.